on. Uh, Daryl Issa, the Republican Congressman for California, uh, who's been looking at some of the means by which uh, party leaders uh, have been trying to get votes and get to that 216. And Congressman, you're saying uh, these these sort of sidecar or these side deals, many of which Democratic leaders argue have been taken out, enough of them are still in, and you want to investigate. Explain. Well, the big ex explanation we want is questioning why groups that could be very much logically hurt by this legislation somehow are left out of it. Certainly the AARP comes to mind. Uh, Medicare Advantage is being stripped of $500 billion. Well, in fact, AARP is being left alone, and what a surprise, they're supporting it. You might remember that AARP supported the way, Medicare a a Part a I'm sorry, Congressman, just to bring people up to speed, AARP only formally stated that today, uh, putting its backing behind the health care package ostensibly because of this $250 credit to seniors uh, to cover prescription drugs, I believe. But you're right, uh, they formally went on board today, but continue. Well, and this is one of the challenges that I saw when the Republicans were in control and we did Medicare Part D. AARP's being involved had a lot to do with no negotiated prices and this not, this not coming out of any sort of uh, offsets. Uh, the real question we're doing is we look at groups that we think should not logically be where they are, including the AMA and others, and we're asking them to tell us what they got in the deal. There's a lot of rumor. We think we can end the rumor. We, we sent to the chamber. If the chamber got nothing for uh, uh, offered to them, and oh, by the way, they're not on board, uh, they just have to sign it and say so. But this is not intended to be anything other than a reasonable expedition into what appears to be uh, a quid pro quo, as we like to call in Washington. Well, a lot of the quid, I guess, has been taken out of the quo. We are told, Congressman, that when that student loan plan uh, that was going to supposedly help Kent Conrad in, in North Dakota to benefit, I believe, a North Dakota bank, uh, that's been taken out of there. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what's at the Medicaid funding increase for Nebraska, that, that buy-off that got uh, Nelson in a heap of trouble, that's been taken out of there. Um, some of the, the cuts, uh, the Medicare cuts, uh, uh, you know, provides those for Florida, have been taken out of there. So a lot of the special sweetheart deals Democrats tell us have been taken out. You say not the case? Well, Neil, we're looking at two different investigations. My committee has jurisdiction uh, looking out from Congress. So I'm very carefully not looking at members of Congress and what they may have been given uh, for it. Uh, that belongs to the Ethics Committee. And uh, quite frankly, when we look at the administration on an ongoing basis, we'll ask that question. What I'm asking is <clears throat> whether or not basically promises to private enterprise or to associations that are lucrative have been part of this deal, particularly if it's to the detriment of the American people. Remember, this is a trillion dollar program, but on an ongoing basis will be several trillion dollars every 10 years in all likelihood. So it's very expensive. If, if promises have been made that cost the American people hundreds of billions of dollars, we need to know that before this vote. All right, Congressman, thank you very, very much.